Hello everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the world of beer. Today we're going to delve into a question we get asked all the time, what is the best beer in the world? Now, that's a heavy question, and while we may not definitively answer it in this video, we're going to have an intense debate about what we think makes the greatest beer in the world and give you a couple of examples of what could be. First, let's set some ground rules for this discussion. The beer can't be a one-off. It's got to be available at least seasonally. It also has to be a beer that we've tried because otherwise, we're purely relying on hype. Thankfully, we've traveled all over the world, so we should be okay at trying the best beers in the world. Now let's dive into some examples. For some, the best beer in the world is tied up with the experience they were having at the time while drinking it. A beer that you want to drink all the time could be considered the best. For instance, Pilsner Urquell, a Czech beer, is a beer that many could happily drink every day. But what about beers that are more complex and challenging? Take Fokelbanger by The Alchemist, for example. This beer starts off bitter and funky, but by the bottom of the can, it becomes juicy and sweet. It's a beer that takes you on a journey, and that's something to be said about a very complicated beer. Now let's talk about some traditional Belgian beers. Belgium, with its rich brewing heritage, has some beers that could fit into the category of the best beer in the world. For instance, West Vlederen the Poith was voted the best beer in the world for a decade before the U.S. really took off. However, some may argue that it's not even the best beer that West Vlederen makes, let alone the best beer in the world. So, what does it take to be the best beer in the world? It's clearly subjective, but there are some factors to consider. The beer has to be available at least seasonally, it can't be related specifically to a situation or a memory, and it has to be translatable. But there's more to it than that. The best beer in the world is not going to be one of these really hoppy beers. It's got to be a beer that wherever it is, it's going to be an absolute joy. It's got to be a beer that you can put in any situation and like have it with any pair of any food. And what about the process and refinement of the beer? The journey to narrowing down a beer over time, honing it to perfection, is how you achieve greatness. The best beer in the world is an ever-moving feast. It's the thrill of the chase. So have we found the best beer in the world? No, and that's exciting. The journey to find the ultimate beer is what makes life worth living. And if we ever found a beer that we were just like every single time we got a beer, we'd be disappointed it wasn't that beer that we loved, that would be the end of our journey. But until then, the search continues. Let's take a moment to appreciate some of the beers we've discussed today. Pilsner Urquell, with its crisp, refreshing taste, is a beer that many could happily drink every day. Fokelbanger by The Alchemist, a complex and challenging beer that takes you on a journey from bitter and funky to juicy and sweet. And let's not forget the traditional Belgian beers like West Vlederen the Portine, a beer that was once voted the best beer in the world for a decade. But what about beers that have influenced the brewing world? Julius from Treehouse is a stone-cold stunner. The influence it's had on the rest of the brewing world is absolutely incredible. It's always this beautiful sweet orange and soft mango thing on top of a really velvety body. And then there's Allagash White, a beer that's just velvety and beautiful, lemony, and so approachable. It's one of those beers that wherever you have it, it's just incredible. But let's not forget about the beers that are tied to our experiences. The best beer in the world could be the one that you had at the top of a mountain to reward yourself for a climb, or the one you had at home watching TV, or the one you had in a scuzzy karaoke bar. So, what is the best beer in the world? Well, that's up to you to decide. But remember, the best beer in the world is the one that brings you joy, no matter where you are or what you're doing. It's the beer that you want to drink all the time, the beer that takes you on a journey, and the beer that you can't wait to have again. So. Keep exploring, keep tasting, and keep enjoying the journey to find the best beer in the world. Cheers!